Hey guys, this is Lewis, and welcome to my first tutorial related to Minecraft. Uh, sorry in advance about my system audio not being um, captured so you won't hear the noises that usually come with dragging stuff into different folders, etc. But it shouldn't pose too big of an issue. So today I'm going to be showing you, as suggested by the title, how to fix a black screen on Minecraft and this works for every single mod that you should try to install. Uh, I'm not sure if it's 100% of the time but most of the time um, I can say solidly before I can say solidly that if you just, uh, install a mod without following these steps in advance you will get a blank screen in Minecraft so this is to help you out really um, and I've only previously seen this done correctly in one other tutorial which is the one that helped me when uh, I was trying to I was first trying to install mods and all I was getting was black screens. So hopefully this will help you out. And it's just two simple, quick, easy steps. So let's get started. Um, for easiness, you're going to want to have your Macintosh hard drive link on your desktop and your Minecraft application on your desktop. Um, so yeah, sorry if you can't see my capture mouse. Sorry if you can't see my mouse pointer. Um, though that shouldn't be too big of a problem either. So the first thing we're going to do is in our my on our Minecraft application we're going to right click and go to show package contents and this is just all the things that make the application work so let's go into this folder called contents uh, done that by accident but um, you in here you'll see a text file called info.plist you're going to want to open that up uh, so here it is uh, let's put that center and you're going to scroll down all the way to the bottom until you see something that says JVM version. Now under that it says string here and there will be a number. If it says 1.5 uh, I don't know if it will say 1.5 plus you need to change that to 1.6 so if it said this you'd need to remove the 5, put a 6 there and add a plus. I'm not sure what, the plus, how, what difference the plus makes but we'll put it there just for good measure. So that's the first step done. You're going to save that by pressing Command and Save, and then quit it by pressing Command and Quit. So we're now back here. We don't need this at the moment, so we're going to exit that and deselect Minecraft. The next step, uh, we have to go through a lot of folders, but it shouldn't take too long. You're going to open your Macintosh hard drive by the link on your desktop. Make sure we can see all of that. And then we're going to go to System. Then you're going to click Library and then you're going to click on frameworks you will have to scroll down I'm already there because I was doing this earlier just to make sure I was doing it right but if you sort by name then it will be in alphabetical order so you can just go right down to find the F's um, have I noticed here and then go in frameworks and again I'm down here if you have to scroll quite far down for this one just scroll down and look for the J's uh, and here you will see Java VM framework. Now for anyone who says that you don't have these folders, I assure you you are just missing them unless you've done something severely wrong because if you have the Java, which all Macs do, then these folders will be here. So you're going to open the folder called javavm.framework. Inside here, you're going to go to the folder called resource resources. And then, I'm down here already, but we're going to scroll, we'll be at the top. So we're going to scroll down and look for the folder that says Mac OS which is right here, open that up and you will see these two files or coding files, whatever uh, you just want the one that says Java application stub not the one with GC on the end so you're going to click that either press command and, v uh, C, command and C or you can right click and go to copy that then we're going to quit this we have now got the folder on our clipboard that we need so we're going to get back to Minecraft show package contents again Let's extend that out like that. Go to contents, and you will see the same folder we saw in our Mac hard drive, saying Mac OS. We're going to open that up, and here is the Java application stub. But this one is not the one we need. We need the one that is relevant to your computer from your Mac hard drive. So we're going to go either press Command and V, or go to this gear here, and click paste which will then overwrite it, you replace it, and that's done. So that is it, there are two simple 
easy steps. Um, I would show you the difference it makes uh, between not having done these steps and then installing a mod and then uh, doing these steps and installing a mod, um, which would show me getting a black screen and me not getting a black screen. But I think it's pretty simple to visualise and I don't want to change the settings in case something goes wrong. So you just have to trust me with this one, uh, do the steps yourself and I'm sure if everything will be fine. If you get a black screen even after you've done these steps, then you've done something wrong when installing the mod itself. There's nothing wrong with your Minecraft folder. I'm sorry that I can't do a tutorial for Windows, I'm sure there's one similar to this, to, to what there is on Mac, but I didn't have a working Windows computer, so it's just Mac for now. So thank you for watching guys, I hope this has helped you, if it has please leave a like and a comment, uh, if you also have any problems I may be able to help you, uh, I'm pretty experienced with mods and all things to do with installing them on a Mac uh, specifically by now. So. Leave a comment if there's, some, if there's an issue or send me a message, even better. If you would like to see me do more tutorials in terms of installing mods or anything like that, um, then please leave a like on this video and that will show me how appreciated this type of content is. So thank you for watching, I'll see you next video. Bye guys.